Shalom family, I hope you all are doing well. I am blessed and I'm back again with just a quick video. You know, I thought I was done with this topic, but my video has been shared in a negative light. Um, this Tobit chapter four, verse 12 and 13, and this topic in general has ruffled feathers. People are upset about this topic in Tobit chapter four and verse 12 and 13. It says, Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of thy seed of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. This has people upset, to the point they're sharing my videos in a negative light. And on the video post, he put disobedient women still trying to teach scriptures. Listen. I don't know why some people feel so inferior. They have a small person complex in them. The Most High can use whoever he wants to bring these scriptures out. It doesn't make you any less of a person if a woman brings scriptures out. If I simply read these scriptures directly from the Bible, it doesn't take anything away from a man. I do not want to spend a lot of time on this because you're not upset with me, you're upset with Yahuwah, in which is the wrong person to be upset with. You know nothing about my life, whoever you are. My husband could be sitting right next to me while I'm making these videos. You have no idea. More importantly, the Most High do not have to ask anyone on the face of this earth if it's okay to use a woman to bring these verses out. Some of y'all, this is your go-to. This is your go-to thing that women are not supposed to speak, but the Most High did not ask you who he can use. Matter of fact, I'm going to read some verses because like I said in my last video, a lot of you Hebrews who feel so inferior need remedial classes because it's like you don't know what's in the scripture some of us do not want to hear this mess anymore we're tired of listening to all of you false prophets you might as well be cast away with the heathens because it's ridiculous the word of yahuwah cuts to the marrow so much so you want me to be quiet guess what if you think this hurts the lake of fire is going to be even more painful. It's bad enough that we've had the heathens lie to us all this time. Now we have our own people within the nation who hate the truth. They want the lies that the heathens have always told us. Let's look at some scriptures and see if the Most High use women at all, because I never hear anyone really teach on this. They don't say a word about it. Deborah was one of the judges of Israel during a time of oppression. She is called a prophetess and the wife of Lapidoth. Yahuwah spoke through her as she held court under a tree called the Palm of Deborah in Ephraim. Now let's take a look at this in Judges chapter 4, starting at verse 4. It says, And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lepidoth, she judged Israel at that time. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. And she sent and called Barak, the son of Ebenon, out of Kadesh Naphtali, and said unto him, had not Yahuwah Elohim of Israel commanded, saying, Go and draw toward Mount Tabor, and take with thee ten thousand men of the children of Naphtali, and of the children of Zubalon? And I will draw unto thee to the river of Kishon Sisera, the captain of Jabin's army, with his chariots and his multitude, and I will deliver him into thine hand. And Barak said unto her, If thou wilt go with me, then I will go, but if thou will not go with me, then I will not go. Let's expound a little more about what's going on in this situation. 
When Deborah became judge, the Israelites had been subjugated for 20 years by Jabin, king of Canaan. The commander of Jabin's army was named Sisera, and he had 900 iron chariots, formidable weapons against Israel's foot soldiers. That can be found in Judges chapter 4 and verse 3. The Israelites were treated very cruelly by Sisera and his army. Deborah describes the hardship of living under Jabin and Sisera in this manner. In other words, people feared to live in their homes and they feared to travel. It was very dangerous. But Yahuwah's word came through Deborah to a man of Naphtali named Barak. The message is that he will lead the revolt against Sisera. Barak's response was, I'll only go if Deborah goes with me. Everyone was afraid of Sisera, including Barak. Deborah agrees to accompany Barak, but she also prophesies that the honor for the victory would belong to a woman, not to Barak. And that's in Judges 4 and 9. When the time came for the battle, Elohim again spoke through Deborah. Elohim again spoke through Deborah, who prompted Barak to marshal his forces. The Israelites came against the army of Sisera, and Elohim granted the victory. The mighty Sisera himself was brought down by the hand of a woman, just as Deborah had said. We can all learn something here. Instead of the men of Israel telling Deborah to be quiet, Barak said he would not even go to war without her. And we can see here that Yahuwah uses whoever he chooses. He put us here to help our men. Therefore, you can just say that this is tough love coming from me because I love my people and I want none other than us to join together again as we did in ancient times. No need to feel offended because I'm just doing what the Most High is telling me to do. I'm being obedient to my Father. I'm about His business. If I say something that's truly wrong and out of place, I am not above correction. However, I try my best to stick to the script because I'm not afraid of humans. I'm afraid to disappoint Yahuwah. And this is not the only time that Yahuwah spoke to a woman or used a woman. I'll bring out more videos so that you all can see that I'm not just making this up. You just don't hear anybody talking about it. Instead, everyone gets offended and Israel continued to block their blessing and their victory by bickering and fighting within the nation instead of realizing that there's an enemy on the outside. As you could see in this story here, the Israelites understood very well that they needed each other. They didn't cast a woman out or tell her to be quiet, but they knew very well that the Most High could use whoever he wanted in the nation of Israel. I won't say I'm sorry for offending you guys because I'm just reading the scriptures, but it's so unfortunate that instead of you securing your salvation in the kingdom ahead to come, you're more worried about a woman reading the scriptures. And you have no idea if the Most High is using this particular person to help you win the victory, whether it be a man or a woman. This concludes my video. May the Most High bless you and keep you safe in this dark hour. And until my next video, blessings and shalom.